Hello, welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about what causes allergies and how you can control them. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. An allergic reaction occurs when a person's immune system becomes hypersensitive to certain substances, such as foods, pollen, medications, or bee venom. A substance that causes an allergic reaction is called an allergen. Many allergens are everyday substances that are harmless to most people. However, anything can be an allergen if the immune system has a specific type of adverse reaction to it. One of the roles of the immune system is to destroy harmful substances in the body. If a person has an allergy to a substance, their immune system will react as though that substance is harmful and will try to destroy it. Over 50 million people in the United States experience an allergic reaction each year. This reaction can lead to symptoms such as swelling. If swelling affects the airways, it can become life-threatening. The severity of allergies varies from person to person, and can range from minor irritation to anaphylaxis, a potentially life-threatening emergency. While most allergies can't be cured, treatments can help relieve your allergy symptoms. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. Causes of Allergies Researchers aren't exactly sure why the immune system causes an allergic reaction when a normally harmless foreign substance enters the body. Allergies have a genetic component. This means parents can pass them down to their children. However, only a general susceptibility to an allergic reaction is genetic. Specific allergies aren't passed down. For instance, if your mother is allergic to shellfish, it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be too. Common types of allergens include Animal products These include pet dander, dust mite waste, and cockroaches. Drugs Penicillin and sulfa drugs are common triggers. Foods Wheat, nuts, milk, shellfish, and egg allergies are common. Insect stings these include bees, wasps, and mosquitoes. Mold Airborne spores from mold can trigger a reaction. Plants Pollens from grass, weeds, and trees, as well as resin from plants such as poison ivy and poison oak, are very common plant allergens. Other allergens Latex, often found in latex gloves and condoms, and metals like nickel are also common allergens. Seasonal allergies also known as hay fever, are some of the most common allergies. These are caused by pollen released by plants. They cause itchy eyes, watery eyes, runny nose, coughing. Food allergies are becoming more common. Symptoms An allergic reaction causes inflammation and irritation. However, the specific symptoms will depend on the type of allergen. For example, Allergic reactions may occur in the gut, skin, sinuses, airways, eyes, or nasal passages. Below are some triggers and the symptoms they may cause in people with an allergy. Dust and pollen, a blocked or congested nose, itchy eyes and nose, a runny nose, swollen and watery eyes, a cough. Food, vomiting, a swollen tongue, tingling in the mouth, swelling of the lips, face, and throat, stomach cramps, shortness of breath, rectal bleeding, mainly in children, itchiness in the mouth, diarrhea, insect stings, wheezing, significant swelling at the site of the sting, a sudden drop in blood pressure, itchy skin, shortness of breath, restlessness, hives, or a red and very itchy rash that spreads across the body, dizziness, a cough, chest tightness, medication, wheezing, swelling of the tongue, lips, and face, a rash, itchiness, if symptoms become severe, anaphylaxis can develop. Anaphylaxis Some types of allergies, including allergies to foods and insect stings, can trigger a severe reaction known as anaphylaxis. 
In a life-threatening medical emergency, anaphylaxis can cause you to go into shock. Signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis include Loss of consciousness A drop in blood pressure Severe shortness of breath Skin rash Lightheadedness A rapid, weak pulse Nausea and vomiting Allergy treatments The best way to avoid allergies is to stay away from whatever triggers the reaction. If that's not possible, there are treatment options available. Medication Allergy treatment often includes medications like antihistamines to control symptoms. The medication can be over-the-counter or prescription. What your doctor recommends depends on the severity of your allergies. Immunotherapy Many people opt for immunotherapy. This involves several injections over a few years to help the body get used to your allergy. Successful immunotherapy can prevent allergy symptoms from returning. Emergency Epinephrine If you have a severe, life-threatening allergy, carry an emergency epinephrine shot. The shot counters allergic reactions until medical help arrives. Some allergic responses are a medical emergency. Prepare for these emergencies by knowing allergic reaction first aid. Natural Remedies for Allergies Many natural remedies and supplements are marketed as a treatment, and even a way to prevent allergies. Discuss these with your doctor before trying them. Some natural treatments may contain other allergens and make your symptoms worse. For example, some dried teas use flowers and plants that are closely related to plants that might be causing you serious sneezing. The same is true for essential oils. Some people use these oils to relieve common symptoms of allergies, but essential oils still contain ingredients that can cause allergies. Each type of allergy has a host of natural remedies that may help speed up recovery. Preventing Symptoms There's no way to prevent allergies. But there are ways to prevent the symptoms from occurring. The best way to prevent allergy symptoms is to avoid the allergens that trigger them. Avoidance is the most effective way to prevent food allergy symptoms. An elimination diet can help you determine the cause of your allergies, so you know how to avoid them. To help you avoid food allergens, thoroughly read food labels and ask questions while dining out. Preventing seasonal, contact, and other allergies comes down to knowing where the allergens are located, and how to avoid them. If you're allergic to dust, for example, you can help reduce symptoms by installing proper air filters in your home, getting your air ducts professionally cleaned, and dusting your home regularly. Proper allergy testing can help you pinpoint your exact triggers, which makes them easier to avoid. Living with allergies Allergies are common and don't have life-threatening consequences for most people. People who are at risk of anaphylaxis can learn how to manage their allergies, and what to do in an emergency. Most allergies are manageable with avoidance, medications, and lifestyle changes. Working with your doctor or allergist can help reduce any major complications, and make life more enjoyable. Allergies occur when your immune system reacts to a foreign substance, such as pollen, bee venom, or pet dander, or a food that doesn't cause a reaction in most people. When you have allergies, your immune system makes antibodies that identify a particular allergen as harmful, even though it isn't. When you come into contact with the allergen, your immune system's reaction can inflame your skin, sinuses, airways, or digestive system. The severity of allergies varies from person to person, and can range from minor irritation to anaphylaxis, a potentially life-threatening emergency. While most allergies can't be cured, treatments can help relieve your allergy symptoms. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.